Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and uh, let's play Dragon Quest V. In the last episode, we went to the castle of whatever, and... Uh, we didn't go there yet, I'm sorry. Uh, we did some stuff. We got the Bianca back to her hus... Uh, Bianca back to her hometown. Duncan got healed up. But basically, now we're going to save this kitty cat that we're trying to help out. Anyways, we have to go to this castle uh, of Lenore and um, get a ghost so that we can rescue him. Anyways, I level up quite a bit. Here's my HP MP. Here's my attack power. Here is my stats, Kenshin. I bought him a boomerang, which hits all enemies. It's a it's a different type of weapon than in Dragon Quest IV. It hits all enemies. Uh, I got him the leather armor, the scale shield, wooden hat. He learned the spell of Gale, which is basically Infernos in the uh, in uh, Dragon Warrior Four. He also learned Upper. Bianca, she learned. She's just an innkeeper's daughter. She got the thorn whip, leather dress, scale shield, hairband. She learned Blaze, Surround, Decrease, and Fireball. What else? Oh, yes. Um, when you want to buy that, uh, the, uh, uh, the weapons. Aw, oh, what the frig. Ah, oh, well, here's a new enemy. Stinky Weasel and Baby Panther. Anyways, the Thorn Whips, they hit a group of enemies. While the Boomerang hits all enemies. Anyways, when you want to get your weapons, basically what happen, what's going to happen is you're going to go to the innkeeper, and when you go into the inn, the ba it'll basically... Oh, here's some new enemies. Anyways, when you go into the inn, it will basically, uh... You'll basically go to bed, and then you wake up in the morning, and basically what happens is Papas isn't feeling too well, so you're going to stay there for a little while. And what you're going to do... Oh, oh. And what you're going to do is then when you want to go back to sleep and go here at night, you're going to talk to Bianca. Anyways, we're going to be like Ghostbusters in this episode. Uh-oh. Not cool. Oh, man. Uh-oh. This is not good. Oh, uh, what's going on? Oh, where's Bianca? Oh, boy. That's the cursed music right there. We are cursed. We can't get out. I guess we'll just have to look around here. Oh, treasure. I mean, I like Bianca. But I gotta check for treasure first. Alright, we got another wing of wyvern. Hooray. We could fall down there, but we don't want it. I think it'll just lead us to here, anyways. Oh yeah, you can look at the bookshelves, but I don't know if there's anything really interesting. We'll have to check back at the uh, other towns. I forgot you could do that. But yeah, right now... Huh. That one's weird. Right now we will have to we're looking for Bianca. What's that noise? Oh I can't read, but I still know what it says, I guess. Uh oh. Oh there's Bianca. Let's get out of here. If you can hear that, that was the uh, friendship theme from Dragon Quest, whatever. Two. Uh, now she's officially a party member. Ah, uh, talk to this ghost of a queen. What does that mean? At least we have someone in the group who can read. I'm just some sort of a literate child. I think my dad should have probably taught me how to read by now. 
Although he's been pretty busy doing that, I don't know what. Yep, nothing good to read. Even though I can't read. Uh. Yeah, it's alright, I get it. Eric and Sophia. No problem, I'll help you out. Uh oh. Seems like every time I sing that song. Oh man. We're in total darkness here. Where are we supposed to go? Uh. Where are we? Hello? Man, this is a weird palace. Oh, new enemies, Babbles. Those guys can poison you. I like the little effects that they do in this game. Also, uh, yeah, they, they have like the cool backgrounds now in this game. So since it's pitch black, it is actually pitch back in, black in the battle too, which is pretty cool. Also in this game you can uh, attack, if like you attack someone who dies, it'll just attack a different monster. Oh, there's some light, finally. Anyways, there I think you had to keep going all the way right and then finally down somewhere. No books of interest. Oh, finally the music's back on. Oh, here, that must be, uh... Oh, right, Metal Herb. That must be Eric. The king or something. Let's follow him. Man, if no one else could do it, we're the first kids, the brave souls to do this. Some vile ghosts made this home their castle. Yeah. If we don't, we'll never get our cat friend. Alright. Doing, doing a nice little throwback here, getting the torch. To see you in a cave. Oh yeah! Alright. Nice. We found a torch. Oh, look at that! Throwback to these bad boys, too. New enemies, ghosts. This is throwback to uh, Ghostbusting episode. Let's check the chests here. Ah, Bianca went up another level. Alright, let's go back up here. Into the scary, dark area. Now we're gonna use this frickin' torch. Look at that. Now we're gonna get somewhere. So basically when we got stuck before, Basically, when we got stuck before, we came from that way, uh, to the left. And go up these stairs. Whoa. That's creepy. Oh man, it's following us. Uh oh. New enemy, walking statue. Anyways, I'm gonna explain how these spells work. We have upper... It, uh, raises someone's defense, decrease, lowers a uh, group of people's defense, I believe. And then fireball hits a group of enemies, and blaze is just a one-person fireball.
And I really like how they have animations in this one. Little spell animations and all that. It's pretty nice. And attack animations as well. Sadly, the monsters don't animate until the next game. Take that walking statue. Ooh. Alright, nice. Anyways, we'll have to continue exploring this haunted castle in the next episode. This has been Kenshin1913, saying see you later.